good evening friends how are you i hope you're all doing well today i'm going to show you how you can install a mysql server on amazon linux 2. so let's get started i am into my ec2 uh, i am into my ws console and i am in the ec2 area so let's try to create a new instance by clicking launch instance Let's try the new interface. I give it a name, MySQL Server. I'm going to choose Amazon Linux 2. I'm going to choose T2 Micro. I'm going to choose an existing key pair. I'm going to block this i don't need any kind of ssh access because i'm going to use aws systems manager and then i go to the advanced details termination protection enabled because this will prevent you to accidentally delete uh, elements so click launch instance Let's go to the instance details. It might take around one or two minutes to launch the instance. So let's be patient. Meanwhile, the instance is being created. Let me show you uh, the steps that I'm going to run. So I have an article in my website, awswithatik.com, how to install MySQL server in Amazon Linux 2. And here I have given all those instructions. For example, this is the comment. You can just copy and paste it into your terminal and run it. You don't need to follow any kind of uh, manual copying or typing anything. It's very easy. Copy and paste. Let me refresh. I hope the instance is ready now. Yes, the instance is ready. Let me go to connect and oh, still not ready yet just a moment okay one more thing i think i forget to do this is i need to add iam role so in my other videos i have shown how to create iam role i have created an iam role and this role has permissions to connect from SSM or systems manager. So let me show you what is inside that role. Go to security, click on IIC role. This is the role that I have created, but you, for the first time you need to create it. And the next ones, it, you can just use the previously created uh, IAM role. So into the role, it is for EC2 and it has permissions, SSM full access. That's it. So now if I uh, click connect, maybe refresh. Just a moment. Let's see whether this instance is ready or not. Okay, the instance is ready. Connect instance. Okay, let's go to the systems manager quick setup. This is not showing here. I'm going to go to systems manager. Get started. I'm going to create a new profile. Let's see. Just a 
just a moment. Okay, I'm going to delete the old configuration and try to create a new configuration. I'm going to create a new one. Just a moment, let's see if everything is working fine. Okay, I think this is a new account, so I haven't set up the systems manager previously properly. So let's try to go for a quick setup one more time. Okay, now it's fine. So let's get connected. So I bring my, I go to my tutorial and copy the comments given here. Okay, I clear the screen. Make the screen a bit bigger. So in Amazon Linux 2, you are uh, going to use MariaDB server as a MySQL source. So what we are going to do is sudo yum install MariaDB server. That's done. Let me clear the screen. Then I'm going to start the server. I'm going to enable the server. So when you reboot the system, it should start automatically. Then I'm going to secure the installation. So first it will ask me for any previously entered pass passwords. I do not have any password, so that's empty. Do you want to set a password? Yes, I'm going to set a password. New password, I have given a new password. Retype, yes. Remove anonymous users. Yes, I'm going to remove anonymous users. Disallow root login remotely, yes. Remove test database and access to it, yes. Reload privilege tables, yes. Thanks for the MariaDB. So now let's try to connect to the server. The command is simple. MySQL minus u root 
the user root and password I'll provide later on. Here's the password. And welcome to MariaDB. That means this is your MySQL version 5.586. So I'm going to do is show uh, databases. This one. There's three databases, information schema, MySQL performance schema. Now you can do anything you want. Let's say create schema. Let's see. Okay. And you have a new database, a thick. So I'm going to use a thick. Okay, now I'm in uh, a thick database. Let's show tables. Sorry. There's, there is no table. So, um, what we have learned? We have learned how to create a new instance, how we can install MySQL on Amazon EC2 and how to connect to that uh, database server and how to create a new database. After that, you can run your commands, you can import, create new tables, you can delete tables, you can manage tables, all those things you can do. So I hope this will help you to get started with uh, MySQL database in AWS EC2. Those who don't know how to set up MySQL on AWS, you can follow my instructions. Also in AWS, there is a, um, managed database service available, which is RDS, Relational Database Service. And uh, in RDS, you can also create uh, databases and you don't need to follow these instructions be because RDS is managed by um, AWS itself. So you don't have to worry about the uh, all those management taxes. It's all via console. <coughs> It's a very nice GUI, GUI and uh, you can create the database with easy interface. So I hope this helps you to uh, get started with AWS. Thank you for watching my video and subscribe to my channel to help me create more videos. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.